Hello everyone! In today's video we're going to take a look at what a classification of vowel symbols is. But before we start, let's take a look at what the definition according to the American Heritage Dictionary is for vowels. The first part we have a speech sound such as long e or short i created by the relatively free passage of breath through the larynx and oral cavity, usually forming the most prominent and central sound of a syllable. The other one, a letter such as A, E, I, O, and U, also Y in the English alphabet that represents a vowel. Now, let's talk about the classification of the vowels. Remember that vowels are always going to be voiced. They do not involve any particular place of articulation and do not obstruct the air stream. In order to classify the vowels, we're going to take a look at the tongue position, degree of complexity, lip rounding, and the degree of tenseness. Tongue position. The capacity the tongue possesses to move around freely inside the mouth is what makes the vowels sound to be different. We have four different tongue positions. Up, down, forward, and backwards. Now, let's take a look at what the range of the tongue movement is. So, remember, we have three different positions in the tongue re regarding the center of mass. The first one would be the relaxed tongue. It is the one you have right now. Now, let's take a look at the next one. This is the low of the back tongue. It is the tongue number two. And finally, we have the high forward tongue. This is the tongue number three. Remember that every single position of the tongue allow us to create different vowels. If we didn't have the position of the tongue, all vowels would sound the same. Now, we have this shaded area, which represents what is the actual range of movement in which all the 12 American English vowel sounds are always going to be pronounced. So, within this red area is a place in which you are going to have all the different positions in which you can pronounce the different vowels. Classification of vowel symbols. For convenience of reference, linguistics have developed a quadrant that has nine sections of the tongue movement. We use three parts of the mouth to pronounce vowels. To the front of the mouth, the palate, and to the bellum. At the top of the quadrant, we have three different sections, front, center, and back, and vertically, high, knee, and low. In high front, we have long E, as in sheep, and short I, as in it. In mid front, we have long A, as in cane, and short e as in met. In low front we have sheep a as in at. In high center we don't have any vowel symbol. In mid center we have unstreshwa as in da and streshwa as in some. In low center we have Spanish a as in hot. In high back, we have short U as in could and long U as in shoot. In mid back, we have long O as in go and low back, we have other law as in all. Degree of complexity. In the production of vowels, we have two groups simple and complex vowels. 
When producing simple vowels, the tongue and other speech organs remain in the same position, as in this, catch, or all. The simple vowels are eight in number. They are short I, short E, sheep A, and Treshua, Spanish A, short U, and other law. Complex vowels. When pronouncing complex vowels, the tongue moves during their production, as in this, Kate, or toe. The complex vowels are the long ones. Long E, long A, long U, and long O. Lip rounding. The term rounding refers to the action performed by lips while forming a circle. Unrounded vowel sounds are produced with the lips spread apart. Front vowels and center vowels are unrounded. It is helpful to remember that back vowels are rounded because this keeps us aware of the need to exaggerate them, pronounce them very rounded, with the mouth making as nearly perfect a circle as possible. To make long U, pretend you are kissing somebody, and to make long O, pretend you are a fish. Degree of tenseness. Relaxed vowels, the production of the vowels is produced with the tongue relaxed. They are also known as simple. Tense vowels. The production of the vowels is pronounced with the muscles of the tongue in tension. They are also known as complex. Well, I'm going to talk about diphthongs. Diphthongs in Latin means two sounds and is the part of speech in which the tongue moves during their production. There are three of them in American English. These are Long I, Oi the Boy, and Out the Now. Now I'm going to explain each of them. Long I. For the production of this diphthong, the tongue starts the sound in the position of Spanish A, low center, and moves to the position of long E, High front. It sounds like I. Now we have some examples. Bike, fine, I, buy, cycle, hike. The second is Oi the Boy. It involves movement from the position of other low, low back to the position of long E, high front. It sounds like OI. Here are the examples. Boy, noisy, spoil, coin, boil, boys. And the last one is out the now. This last diphthong involves tongue movement from the position of a Spanish A, low center, to the position of long U, high back. The examples are owl, owl, round, proud, town, brown. That's